When I was a kid to pretend sticks were swords? Oh yeah, I lived out in the woods, dude. There was a, there was an old anime that used to come on right around the time of Sailor Moon. My sister was a big Sailor Moon fan. And me and her being so close to age, we would spend summers together in at the house. So I had to watch the TV she wanted to watch in order to watch my shows. And it was called Ronin Warriors. And me and my friends, we used to don our little sticks and we used to we used to LARP Ronin Warriors out in the woods. You like Sailor Moon and Powerpuff Girls? I like Sailor Moon during their transformations, but I was also like 12 years old, 13 years old. And that was like something that aided me in my in my becoming of a man. <laughs> Cause I was like, wait a minute, you can see things. And I had a crush on the girl who wore green. I can't I can't tell you her name. But she was like tall and had like brown hair. Blue Moon? That's a beer. What is Sailor Moon? It's an anime. It's about uh, women superheroes, or they're like teenage girls. And they have powers of the celestial bodies. So Sailor Moon, obviously had her power from the moon. And there was Mercury, Venus, Mars. And they all they all conveniently had the color hair of whatever suit they were wearing or whatever. They they all looked the part. But they were just mild mannered children during the day and then superheroes at night. And then there was this like boy crush that the blonde always had whose name was Tuxedo Mask. And he always had like a rose that he would throw or something. I couldn't tell you why he showed up or what, but he, uh, he was always the one who actually helped them beat the whatever bad guy they were fighting. <laughs> he came in and last hit them. He got the kill still. Oh, we're so glad you're here. Yep. Clean up your dirty work. Stop being a dummy. He'd throw his little rose down and like the day would pass or whatever. Jupiter was the green one? Okay. Sailor Moon was the one I had a thing for. That's the one everybody had a thing for. It was that hairstyle with the little bobs on the side. I like the talking cats. They reminded me of, um... Well, not, not at the time, because I don't think the show existed. But, um, what's the show that has the green and pink fairies? With the kid? They remind me of them too. What's her name in Dragon Balls? Oh, I have no idea. Bulba? Isn't that the dinosaur in Pokemon? Ah! No, don't hit me! Fairly odd parents. There you go. That's it. That's the ticket. Hey, look, we found some more netherrack. Or uh, ancient debris. Oh no, there's more lava! Oh god, there's so much lava here. No, I just want the piece of ancient debris. Gimme. Okay, nothing else around it? No, okay. Leave me alone! We're actually doing well. We got, we got three pieces right now that we can make netherite. Look who finally comes back to the party. Me. Hi, Looper. How are you? What how, What percentage would you say that you are complete on the tasks that you need to get done in order to scoot your booty across the country? 70? Nice. And you've got, what, three more weeks? Walked away from the lava into more lava. That's how I roll. 
You ever seen The Simpsons when Sancho Bob's hitting all those rakes in the middle of the yard? He takes a step, he hits a rake, takes another step, hits another rake. That's me. Except with lava. Alright, we're about ready to lose this pickaxe. I'm gonna have to go find some some ore to grind up. We got we got twelve uh netherrack. It's not bad. I approve. Three weeks today is our last day in this house. How long have you guys been there? <clears throat> is it bittersweet? Or are you guys just ready to get, you know, GTFO? 12 years? It's not bad. Bulma. Carlo, Carlo went and did quote unquote research. You're happy to go? I'm excited for you guys. That's dirt. Here. How you doing, Fazlia? Thanks for the well wishes. It's not my birthday, though. But I appreciate it. Wait till I pull on a party hat later. 40 by 24 quilt shop studio space. You can't wait. That's cool. Are you guys able to like, do you, do you guys possess the property now? Have you guys done anything with it in preparation or can you not do anything with it yet? Oh, Looper. That's just something the kids around here do in the category. As of November 2nd. Okay. Cool. What's the what's the first thing you guys are gonna do? Do the beds go in first? Y'all just gonna crash on a couch or something? Oh, so November second gets the fiber installed. Or you mean right now you can only get the fiber installed? You have a used book in a chalet till November 6th. Wait, I don't understand what you just said. What is what does that mean? Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh, I got you. And how long of a drive is it from where you are? Twenty-two hours. Now, now, are you? Who's who's driving it? Are all of you guys driving it, or are some of you guys flying over there? All of us will drive. Are you stopping in between, or are you just guys pushing all the way through? I have 16 pieces of pork. I can get more if I wanted. You have two spots overnight, uh, put us three hours away from our house. Oh, okay. Well, that's sweet. Hey, you, put up your dukes. Haha, <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> you don't have any dukes to put up.
trying to get this other pickaxe back up to full or close to it. We have found like four pieces of ancient debris while we're getting these guys repaired. I think we need to start cutting them. Let me kill him. Get out of here. Get out of here, you can't take me. Oh look, it's all the pigs. More pork. Pork, 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 pork. Man, they're, they can hit you from really far away. That's dangerous. Ow! Uh, wait. All right, time in. Time out. Ow! Guys are making me eat all the pork I'm getting from you. Okay, I really shouldn't be over here. Okay, let's dig this way. Hey ya! We're gonna go one higher. Shocked I'm not holding the totem. Well, I'm not gonna die down here. I mean, we, we got the pickaxe fully healed now. I could swap it back out. <laughs> Isn't that kind of stream? That's uh, the tier three viewing party that happens on Wednesday nights starting at 9 p.m. your local listings I'm never invited yeah you are you're always invited oh wait I got a notification from the app that I apply for jobs at hold on let me see real quick One second. Oh, okay. It wasn't anything great. All right. Never mind. We're here. False alarm. Everybody calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. I am calm. Jeff. Um, oh man. Uh, ow! You should, you should find out a way to make it sound like your phone is cutting in and out. Call your boss with five minutes left of today. Tell them that you just got kicked, but make it sound like you just want to quit and leave them hanging for the weekend. Call on Monday morning and be like, gotcha! And then report back. You know, bad reception, smile. You have to try next week? Oh. He doesn't have a, a cell phone number in his little emails that he sends out? Reach me on my mobile. Oh. Well, darn. She's smart. <laughs> I guess you get a point there. I always had multiple signatures at my old jobs. 
for like internal emails, I had my cell phone number, but for external emails, I did not. <laughs> Same thing that went out that wasn't company related. Ain't nobody get a hold of me. I would hate for a contractor to call me at like six o'clock in the evening. Hey, we're missing some. We're missing 25 yards of concrete out here at this job. Oh yeah, really? Well, guess what? That's not my problem right now. Click. I have to be clocked in to take your bullshit. I don't deal with it when I'm clocked out. It's the, it's the neat thing about going home after work. So many people lovingly tackled. Hell yeah, that's how it rolls, man. Gotta keep yourself on your toes. I forgot why we added a glomp command. I think we had people in chat that wanted it. And I can't even remember who it was. But I can't remember who, who, who it was that originated the glomp. It wasn't me. Seal it! I'm sorry! Crap. Alright, there's lava over there. We gotta mark this. Do not cut over here. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Alright, next goal is 16, which means we're gonna be able to do four pieces. You only joined a week ago. I know you don't know. I'm trying to think if it was like Mitsunare or I don't think it was Mitsunare. Oh, don't go that way. Was it, it, it was implemented after you joined, right, Speedworks? Because it didn't exist before. So it was like post Beard Brigade. All right, I'm afraid of this over here. So we're gonna put some torches there because I'm afraid. Oh yeah, we found another one. Okay, cool. That puts us at 15. So I bet if I went and I got four pickaxes that were all silk touch and netherite, that I could come out here and just completely blow this place away. And do super risky moves. If you're go for it, dude. Let me know how it goes. I've heard of some people doing some really risky moves for the biscuit and some of them were successful and some of them moved on to the next world. Oh, you died. Okay. That was quick. Yeah. If I can think faster, the best way to keep lava from getting to me is to just dig a hole in front of me and the lava will just go towards the hole. 
Like, if I do this, I can stay in here, and the lava's not an issue. But I have to consciously think that. And then I have to patch it up afterwards. But if I, if I can think fast enough, I can do this, and we can knock it out. And see, there, there's no issue. But I have to be, like, vigilant. That's a super easy way to avoid lava. That's that's something I have to do to improve my play. That one we're going to leave there because it provides light. Light doesn't make any difference in the nether as far as spawning, but it makes everything look a little brighter for you guys on the other end of the, of the screen over there. light just don't accidentally walk into it oh we found one yeah it puts us at 16 sweet all right so that is four more pieces of netherite gear all right next step is 20 So it's been an hour and 45 minutes. We've gotten 16 pieces. It's not bad. Well, I don't think I was doing that first. Either way. I'll say an hour and 45. I've been live for an hour and 40. Yeah. That's 105 minutes. See, if I if I do... Yeah, see that. It's going to go in the hole. And then I can just patch it. And we don't have to worry about it after that. I don't have to burn and I can stretch my 26 pieces of pork out. Which, by the way, I've gotten all that pork down here. Because I had about 26 pieces of beef left. Or no, I think I had less than that. I think I had like 11. And then we've acquired all this pork since we've been here. Okay. See, this, I should do that. And there we go. It has been contained. Lava, done. Um, I didn't miss any, have I? No, okay, so we're going this way. Well, we're, we're I'd like to have more. I'm trying to think of how many I want at the end of the day because this is our first big project and we're going to be digging out like more areas later and I'm trying to think how much is enough for right now and this would put us at four five six netherite pickaxes or I can do like five pickaxes, two shovels. If you get one more, that's the most you've done in a single mining spree, right? In this world, yes. But overall, I think I had like 30 or so one time. In my other hardcore runs.
I just so we we could have had more before when I was down here earlier. I just wasn't using the the ore to replenish the pickaxes. I was kind of want I was kind of wanting to save the crystal, but I really don't need all that crystal. And we can go mine more really easily. It's not that hard to get netherite crystals. Especially when you know where to look. What happened, Dark Crystal? I've died stupidly in a lot of hardcore runs. There was a pig behind me. It was just the gravel. I'm getting better at that. Look, I'm getting smart, you guys. I'm almost a fart smeller. Going into a cave and a skeleton spawning while I'm leaving, so you get trapped. See, this is me not thinking fast enough. I always go for the block to, to seal it and not the block, not just cut a hole. I'm learning. If I can if I can calm myself down and be safer around lava, then we can be better overall in this damn forsaken place. See right there? Aha! I got it! Look, Mom, first try. Give me XP. Oh, nope. Nope. Oh, I got a double. Look at that. You and you. I think this is a lava outlet here. We gotta be careful. Yep. That's all lava. So we're gonna mark this with a torch. Don't go this way! Okay, so now we've ended our run that direction. Let's go this way. And that usually, for anybody wondering, that usually leads out to like where the lava is in the world. We're digging that far through. Uh, this one. Whew. Look at that. Stepping up in the world, heck yeah. Get a safe work environment. I'm working on it, I'm working on it. One hit, or one I hit an enderman in my mine and he killed me. Two, I came up from my mine at night and a skeleton got me. Three, I was in a cave and a skeleton got you. All three, you have no armor yet. Oh no. Oops, can't use that to cut. That sucks, Dark Crystal. Oh no, stop it, don't panic, don't panic. Just do that, just do that. Just do that. Be smart. Hey, we're saving food. Oh, I, oh no, I waited too long. <laughs> I waited. Darn it. The lava was gonna go into that hole and I, I, um, I accidentally broke, I accidentally put a block in there before I, before it ran into the hole. So I burned anyways. <laughs> 